oil long-term forecast for the week of March 26, FXEmpire.com. Life's wheat crude markets have been very volatile lately, and with Iranians working as hard as possible to keep the nuclear program going that the rest of the world wants them to give up, the headline risks in this market are greater than ever. There's even fear that possibly the Iranians will get involved uh, with a uh, move to close down the Straits of Hormuz, which of course would be seen as an act of extreme aggression by the U.S. Navy, so it may not be as likely, but the threats are still there. The demand for oil presently is being questioned to some extent as the U.S., although growing, definitely is seeing a, a little bit of a slump in demand. However, this is counterbalanced by Chinese and Indian markets, which show no signs of slowing down as far as demand for petroleum. With this in mind, uh, the market seems more at risk of a sudden move up than down. Looking at the charts, you can see that the last three weeks have been hammers. It's a very, very bullish sign, uh, as it just shows how much, uh, how many buyers, I should say, come into the market right at about 104 to 105. 110 looks like the next level that we will test on a break higher, and uh, we believe that 110 is a minor level, not a major one, and we will not only test that on a break higher, but break through it and perhaps run to 120. At 120, and on a break higher 120, then we start to talk about serious questions with demand destruction. The last time we saw prices rise that rapidly, they eventually ran to about 148, which of course they melted down from, because suddenly there was complete demand destruction in the markets. We think we may be heading towards a market like that, with a little bit more sustainability, sustainability and a little bit more of a gradual pace than the parabolic move that we saw just a few short years ago. Nonetheless, these fears of a spike are far away. And in the meantime, we will continue to see the market rise without impunity. We are willing to buy any dips in the oil market as it continues to show strength, and quite frankly, can't sell until we break below the 95 level, which would suggest perhaps a serious move to the downside, as there are just far too many support levels between present prices and 95.